dying. Okay, so we have empties. Yes, this is a cat headband. I got it yesterday. Came in the mail. Um, it's, I usually just use it for, or the plan is to usually use it for putting on makeup, but having a lazy zebra day and my hair is nasty because I was supposed to wash it last night, but I didn't feel up to it. And it I just nasty. wanted to wear it. It's, it's nasty. I just want to wear it today, so I'm wearing it. And I'm also leaving my glasses on because I'm enjoying seeing. So let's get into the empties. It's not nearly as bad as it normally is. And part of this is Layla finished off a lot of treats. And you know I like talking about my doggy stuff. Um, another thing, Alex, his brother, brought Alex's stuff from Seattle down here. So there are a couple things in here from that. So if I say it's Alex is from Seattle, that's what I'm talking about. And there will be a couple other yes. things in the future. Yeah, is that the one I had in the in the shower? No, no, this is your Seattle one. Oh, so I already have one of those. Cool. Okay, so let's just get into this because I know I talk a lot and uh, yeah, I just want to get into it. These are the Milk Bone Brushing Chews. They're relatively new. They are dog toothbrushes, but for Milk Bones, so they're kind of like greenies, but not minty. Um, they're nice. Layla likes them. This is her second box. I usually just grab whatever, but greenies are kind of expensive. So yeah, these are nice to grab. There are, the only thing I don't like is there's, um, these are the ones for large dogs and there's five treats in here. I wish there was at least seven so they would last a whole week but you know whatever um, and she does like those she goes through them in no time these are the big 25 ounce bag of canine carryouts bacon flavor so they're kind of like um miniature bacon strips she really liked these um i would probably get these for her again soon she doesn't need any treats right now but i usually just get whatever looks good for you know not good to me but whatever i think she'll like you know but yeah i would get these for her again she liked them well, it would look good to you, as in, you know, it would be good for your dog. Oh, well, yeah. It's not something I want to eat. These are puppy training pads, pee pads. They're from Pet Shop. They're the maximum protection training pads. Alex's mom got these when her dog, Scout, was a puppy. She had some leftovers, and she gave them to us when we got Layla. Layla couldn't figure out that she, she figured out to pee on these, but she couldn't figure out that's where she was only supposed to pee. So, um, that didn't go so well. Um, they work great as a liner in rodent cages. Yeah, they do work great as a liner in rodent cages, unless you have, like, we can't use them on our rats because they just grab the edge and pull it out and pull it on top, so it's useless, but it works great with the guinea pig. Or any other kind of dumb rodent, like a hamster, yeah. you know? So, I and wouldn't... A dumb rodent, like, not as intelligent as a rat. I wouldn't buy these, but if I had them again, I would use them for that. Um, the pads themselves were good pads. They were... Um, medium-ish size 22 by 22 inches square and um maximum protection is accurate they would hold a lot it's just it didn't work for layla um i think they did work for scout though your mom said most part. um these are milk bone just regular boring milk bones in the small size we got these for layla when she was a puppy they are much too small for her now so i just got one of the big seven pound boxes of beef flavored ones from uh, for the large dog ones from walmart she likes those so i got those instead of these but i do get her milk bones usually okay um this is kinesio tape um totally going to repurchase this what it is is a tape that's good for sports injuries injuries in general and it's great for zebras, people with EDS. So I've got two fingers taped up, my wrist and my knee right now. Um, totally will be repurchasing this, but I'm going to get the synthetic kind next time because this is similar to a, this is the cotton kind and it's similar to a fabric band-aid in that after a couple of days, it starts fraying and one shower and it is so nasty. So I'm getting the synthetic if it's not falling off it's nasty so i'm going to get the synthetic kind next time um what it says on the side is the cotton has one to three days of wear whereas the synthetic has four to seven and the synthetic is water resistant so but totally repurching kinesio tape you don't have to get the brand name that's just what i got last time because it's what they had at walmart 
and that one had the, um, the strips already pre-sized, so you just have to rip off one strip instead of having to measure. Okay, this is Alex's. This came in my Essential Summertime, I think is what they call it, box box from Influencer. This is Iron Tech Essential Protein Powder in Chocolate. It's certified gluten-free by gfco.org, certified vegetarian by the ABA. It's got recyclable packaging. The manufacturing supports wind power, and it's kosher dairy. So no growth hormones, non-GMO, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to let you talk about that because you just drank it. Got a decent flavor. It kind of tasted like chocolate milk, but it was a little thin. Oh yeah, we made his with chalk, with uh, milk, not water. So, is this something you would buy? Possibly. Um, a lot of protein stuff has a lot of fillers, so. I, you can look at what's in this if you want. That's my phone, if you can hear it. It's probably my best friend calling on his way home from work. Oh, it's Stevia. So I'm just gonna let it ring. Uh. Okay, there we go. You done? Yes. Okay. This is another thing I got from the Essential Summertime or whatever it is, Vox Box. It's Numi Organic Tea. This is the Turmeric Tea, Herbal Tea Sun, Caffeine Free, Turmeric Tea, Amber Sun with rooibos, cinnamon, and vanilla. I didn't taste the rooibos. I drank this today, um, partly because I needed to take a picture for my Vox Box and partly because you saw the kinesio tape. I've been having some zebra issues. Turmeric is supposed to be really good for joint pain, joint problems, largely because it reduces inflammation. So um, I am feeling better. I don't know if it's the rest, the kinesio tape, or the tea, or some combination, but I am feeling better. And this, I was afraid it was going to taste really weird because I don't like rooibos, and I wasn't sure about the taste of turmeric tea. But it actually tasted good. I didn't taste turmeric or rooibos, just kind of like a tea taste. So they did give me a coupon, so I would consider getting this because I know it's good for my joints. Okay, this is another one of yours. This is Alex's toothbrush from Seattle. It's um, Oral-B. We already talked about your stuff, although there's more in here. It's from Oral-B. It says it's Pulsar battery actually still works and it like this one goes hardcore he's got one of these in the bathroom right now that he's using that's not that like vibrating but I'll let you talk about it right I forgot how powerful this thing is yeah I got this uh, when I was in Seattle because I forgot to pack a toothbrush um, so this is about three years well three years old in October. And, I mean, the one I got in last time, it was because I had a coupon for it, but would you buy this kind of toothbrush again? Yeah, if I could afford it. Yeah. They're not horribly expensive if you can get a dollar or two coupon, so. But, that's got to have so much bacteria, so we're just tossing it. Um, this is a sample of perfume from Harvey Pin Prince. It's Imperial Gardenia. I am so happy that this is gone. It didn't smell bad. It was just very floral. And it was also very sweet. And it was both of those. Which is kind of a weird combination. And it didn't smell bad. It was just too much, if that makes sense. So, it was so annoying that I told myself, okay, if you finish this off, you can buy a full-size perfume of one of the ones you've been wanting. So that's in my Sephora cart waiting for to afford it. And uh, I'm happy this is gone. Right now I'm using another perfume sample, but I wouldn't buy this. Happy it's gone. Okay, I have two of these little paper one-use samples of Benefit Professional. Um, these both came in Ulta orders. I like this. I have a tube sample. If I ever get to the point where I don't have a sample of it because I'm on like my third tube sample and these are like the third and fourth paper samples. If I ever get to a point where I don't have samples, I will buy a full size. I really like it. Um, I know you're bored, but you do have things to talk about. This is the Glade Spiced Apple Magic Apple and Cinnamon Candle. 
from their current fall collection. Um, I love apple and cinnamon. I've been on a really big regular apple kick, you know, like how the the red apple smell of how the red apple jelly bellies taste, if that makes sense. I've been really big on that kind of smell kick. But this was really good. Um, Reminds me of you. I would get this again if they had it again for sure. They, this collection is actually still out, so is this something you would want me to repurchase right now? Yeah. Okay, so I'll be repurchasing it. Um, the reason I got the candle was because I was going around crazy trying to find one of the scents from spring in Wife Smells, and I finally got in a candle. And when I saw that they had the fall collection at Walmart, I'm just like, I am not waiting for everything to come out in Wax Melts. I got the one Wax Melt and the two candles. And if they have Wax Melts this time, that's what I'll get, but otherwise I'll get the candle again. Um, I have some Studio 35 Beauty Textured Cotton Rounds. These are Walgreens brand. Um, I don't have a cotton round preference, it's just whatever. Um, so, I will be getting more cotton rounds. I don't know where from yet, but I'll be getting some more. Um, this is another thing from Alex's. This is the Cellucor Super HD Weight Loss High Def Fat Targeting and Sculpting Agent Pills. So this is one pill as a sample. I got it from this thing called Razor Bash at school. It's like a merchant fair. So it looks like this. I will let you talk about this. It's no dose. It's an energy pill. I mean, what else do you want from me? I, those don't burn fat. They just... Well, I guess they kind of do in that they drive up your metabolism and give you a ton of energy, but, you know, it's all the coffee I drink. <laughs> Is this something you would buy? Not necessarily. Okay. Um... This is the Miss Spa Illuminate Hydrogel Facial Mask. I got this in a giveaway that I won from, I'm going to try not to mess up her name, April Walker, I believe. I got that right. Um, I really like this. It was weird. It was two pieces, so like one for the top and one for the bottom. But when you pulled it out, they kind of stuck to each other. Um, it was hydrogelic. It said it was cool. It didn't have any extra serum. It was all like in the mask. Um, I don't know if it particularly made me made my skin brighter or more illuminated, but definitely moisturized, and I enjoyed it. So, um, it's not something I would go out of my way to get, but if I had it again, or, hello, if I had it again, or I found one randomly on clearance, then, um, I would enjoy it. You want me to find something for you to talk about? I don't know where these came from. These are Exer Hyde's Barbecue Rib Flavored Raw Hide. I'm assuming my mother-in-law sent them over, but I have no idea. I was just cleaning, and I found this behind the couch, and there was one in it. And I've never seen them before. So, I gave it to Layla, and she ate it in like two bites, and she liked it. So, I mean, I might buy it, but she likes, there's a lot of things she gets, and I imagine these come from Walmart, but I haven't seen them, so maybe. Um, speaking of Exer Hides, she has finished two of these packages. These are the ones that are the braided raw hide, and there's two in each package. One of these my mother-in-law passed to us. Um, she gets stuff for Layla sometimes, and obviously. And um, the other one I got, I've got another package of these over there. Layla loves these. Um, She's a puppy, so she's teething, and she's a Labrador, so she likes to chew things, so she goes through these in no time, and she loves them, and I will completely be repurchasing these. Do you have anything to say about your dog's braided chewies? She destroys them very quickly. I wouldn't recommend getting them again, because you give one to her, and two minutes later, it's gone. She loves them, though, so I like getting them for her. They're not the cheapest, but they're not the most expensive chewies, either. You get her more of those dino bones. Yeah, they had... Oh, that's another thing I'll go ahead and talk about because I forgot to save the, the top part of the package. I got her this rawhide bone from the Halloween collection at Petsmart. It was this long. It was like $15. And she's eaten the entirety of the middle, half of one of the knots on the end, and then she's got the other end knot. That and thing that, was huge. She couldn't even pick it up at first. And that thing was whole? 
It would have been really good to knock you unconscious. Right? So I will totally be getting her more of those. I did have to wash it off because she like, snurfed up on it or something. Mm -hmm. So that might be why she ate it. So it got soft with water or whatever. Um, these are another thing from my mother-in-law. Not our mother-in-law. She's your mom. Um, these are the... Here, scoot forward so we're like in the train. Ow! These are digest ease. Um, these are just like rawhide that's in a, like a roll. Like how you make a roll up, you know? Does that make sense? Um, and they're supposed to be easier to digest. There's kind of what they look like on the back. If you can see that. Um, but Layla actually really liked these. So I went ahead and got her a package at Petco. So. Do you have anything to say about those? I'm hungry. I'll feed you when we get them with them These are um, canine carryouts Chulata. These are another thing from my mother-in-law. Layla had these when she was a smaller puppy and they made a mess everywhere so I wasn't going to get them even though she liked them. I took her while to chew them. This time they didn't make a mess. I guess because she's gotten bigger and she's not as slobbery. But she chewed through them really quickly. But she does really like them. So it's not something I'm like I have to go get this. But if I saw them and they were cheap, I might consider it. Or if my mother-in-law gave them to us again, I know she'd enjoy them. I had to give her a bath the first time she had one of those because up to her elbow. And her entire snout. Uh, yeah. I've never seen a dog make that big of a mess from a chewy. These are... It was really cute. Began Little. So they're like Began strips, but they're a little bitty. Uh -huh. um, Look at her. She's putting it behind her. Mm -hmm. now, it's, now she can't get it. I like these a little bit better than the big bag and shifts because there's a lot more in here and than the canine carryouts because they still have like the wavy shape and they're not quite as soft as the canine carryouts. I got these the little ones for her when she was a puppy puppy. But um um I would get these for her again because they're really good for training treats too. She loves them. Yes. I don't think so. Um, do you have anything to say about these? They're good training treats. Um, she really likes them. I, uh, I spoiled her with most of them, honestly. Yeah. These are the pedigree dental sticks. Another thing from my mother in law. Lele! I love you, but I'm trying to film. She gets the big boxes of these for her dogs, and she gave us a pack. Um, Layla likes these. These are another ones that I would consider getting for her. I just get, I put dog toothbrushes on the grocery list, and I get what I grab. Um, I actually think, yes, here's the, the packaging for things she's making a racket with. She literally picks this up and chews it. Um, Thrills and Chills Collection. It's the same brand or whatever as um, her dinosaur bone. This is the Chilling Shoes Small Stuffed Bone. Um, this is another Halloween collection from PetSmart. It's just a little, it looks kind of like a ham hock, but just bone, and it's stuffed with some kind of pumpkin flavored stuff. She loves it, but it makes a racket, especially if she doesn't have a bed in her crate, which she doesn't right now because she has been sick, so. She's doing better now, so it's just got to be washed and it's going back in. But yeah, so I would consider getting this again, but it is really noisy. This is Body Shop Special Edition uh, Blueberry Body Scrub. I got this at um, TJ Maxx on clearance for like four bucks. I like this. I used it. Um, it smells really good. I used it for like, I would scrub my legs and then I'd rinse it off and then I would shave my legs. And Alex has gotten really into, baby girl, can you chew on something else? Alex has gotten really into using body scrubs like all over. Um, he, his face is acne prone in general, but he also has body acne, not a lot, just like one or two zits here or there. And this has helped using the scrub in general but this one really helped so so much 
Um, I wouldn't get this full price. I would get it if I saw it at TJ Maxx again or whatever, somewhere cheap or on clearance. Can you do that? Where's my phone? I, I don't know. But um, right now we have the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Mango Scrub. Thank you for throwing your butt. Um, and we really like that too. But hey, you keep telling me it looks nice. Huh? This is something that, like I said, if I saw it on clearance or at TJ Maxx again, I would get. But otherwise, it's a little pricey. But it was really nice while we had it. It had a combination of whatever the scrubby stuff is. Um, I don't know if this is sugar or what. I don't know, whatever the scrubby stuff is, and it had blueberry seeds in it. Mm hmm She can come over here if she wants. So we would get that again, as long as she doesn't hit the computer. This is L'Oreal Feria Power Red Hair Dye in, in number R57 Intense Medium Auburn. Um, I This is the second box of Feria that I've gotten. I really like it because even when I put it over dark hair, it still shows up decently well, even if it's a burgundy, but I do like the burgundy. And the shampoo in this stuff is amazing. I wish they sold it by themselves, by itself. Um, I don't know about the color. I like the color. I'm not saying I wouldn't get the color again. I just, the next time I get hair dye, it's probably going to be fair. Yeah, I just don't know if it's going to be the same color. It'll just be whatever, because I'm not picky. But yeah, love this. Totally repurchase. Um... Husband, I need us though. This is um, Birchbox thing, Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum. Um, it looks like this. It was nice. It's one of those silicone-y things that you put in your hair and it makes it all soft and smooth. It was nice, but there's a couple other serums I got that I like better, right. so I wouldn't particularly get this one. What is this? I, I don't... Barbecue pulled pork. We're filming! trying to. Okay, husbands. Okay, husbands, okay. right? We're almost wow. done, but there's a lot of stuff in here I need you for. <sighs> um, we got some ibuprofen again. This is a CVS bottle of ibuprofen. I think I got this because I had extra bucks and it wasn't anything I wanted at the time. And then this is a little packet of two ibuprofen tablets that I got as a freebie sample. Always repurchase ibuprofen. Always have ibuprofen. Um, sometimes it's off-brand, sometimes it's brand name. It's just whatever I grab. Um, I'm actually going to set this here because I need to pick up some. Ah! Okay, now that you are here, we have Bath & Body Works Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber Shower Gel. That stuff is awesome. I love this. Mm. Alex loved this. I... I have a little ongoing list of Bath & Body Works scents that I will be looking for at some annual sale. This has made it on that list. We'll totally repurchase if I can find this. I love ambery scents and this was just vaguely flowery with amber. It was really, really good. Love this. Do you have anything to say about this? It's amazing. It smells great. I've gotten him hooked on Bath & Body Works. So now, whenever I put anything else in the shower, he's like, aww. Yeah. Kind of cute. Hey! Lele, watch the computer, sweetheart. Sit. Can you sit? You sit. Please, please, please sit and quit snurfing on my stuff. Sit. Thank you. Okay. This is the Inlu Naturals Instant Lift and Firm Face Mask with Marilla Oil and Purple Clay. Um... It's supposed to be age-defying, stimulate circulation, neutralize free radicals, improve tone and texture. Um, these things are supposed to be single-use. I got this at Whole Foods on sale. These are supposed to be single-use, but you can either get two uses out of them, or a lot of times what we do is we open one and we split it and we both do a mask. I've gotten him into masking, too. I like this one. It was nice. Um, it did regular masky things, you know deep clean and like oh, moisturize and stuff like that we don't really need the anti-aging yet but it was a nice mask what did you think of this one lay lay like most of your clay masks it was quite good uh the only thing i don't like about them is the cold sensation it's okay the cold sensation that it gives you and like how tight the skin gets yeah that is kind of weird 
So it's Come not on. something. It's something that I would enjoy if I had it again, but it's not something I need to go repurchase. You know. Okay, I have got some serious wax melts. Okay, these three are all from. Well, actually, okay. I got a lot of wax melts. I think that's all of them. Um. These are all from last fall. So, I've got four from Glade. This is um, Hit the Road. And I like this one. It's not the kind of thing I normally like, but I did really like it. Oh, yeah, that's my nice. Oh, itch. Why is my eye itch? Because your dog is very squirmy. So. But she's got a wagging tail. If this was something that wasn't limited edition, it's something I'd pick up again. Um, this one is called Dog. Sorry. It's not Sorry. called Dog. Child, go go to bed. Go to bed, child. Go go to bed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Almost done. Sorry, attack of the Labrador. This uh, one's called Sunset Walk. This is another one that like I wouldn't normally like this, but I really enjoyed it. Um, any opinions? It smells very good. This is another one that if it wasn't limited edition, I would pick up again. I, I'm not like, I wouldn't repurchase it because you've got better ones. Their fall collection last year at least was great, and they're doing great so far this year. This one is Apple Tree Picnic, and... That's one of the better ones. This is more similar to the apple scents that I've been really into lately than their apple from this fall but it's not quite there but totally another one that i would repurchase if it wasn't limited edition and then pumpkin pit stop you know it's pumpkin it's wax melt i'm gonna want to repurchase it if it wasn't limited edition i love this Ow, you Sorry. Hit me on the lip. Yeah, it i love like this would totally repurchase if it smells like basic white edition. girl this one i've lost my husband again i'm taking care of your dog this one was Burt's Bees Sweet Pumpkin. Um, for one, the the little cubes didn't want to come out, so I had to use a spoon to scrape some of them out. For two, the wax melter I normally use is one of the Glade ones. It's one of the hot plate ones, so it gets a lot hotter and will melt the harder wax melts. This is really soft. When I melted this in that, it smelled really weird. Um, we recently got a light bulb wax melter for downstairs. It smelled okay in that, but it's still not something that I would repurchase. It doesn't throw. No, it doesn't even have a good scent. Yeah, it doesn't smell like that. I like the pumpkin. I like the Burt's Bees wax melts. Don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't get this one again. Okay. It was either she kicked things out of your hands or I hold her. <laughs> This is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. This was another one okay, hold on. from the giveaway from April Walker. Alex and I split this as well. It was your typical clay mask. It was... Go ahead, keep going. It was nice. I liked it. Not something I have to rush out and purchase, the, though. Excuse me. Um, what did you think of this, Alex? Hey. Um, all the masks you've been using, you didn't even tell me which ones were using yours, was it? Oh, well, I'll have to start doing that then. I'm not going to remember. This is, an, it's pretty much another typical clay mask. It was slightly more moisturizing because of the avocado and the oatmeal. Um, these are my contacts, the case and the contacts. The case is well over three months and the contacts are well over a month. Um. I had been hanging on to these because I was using them for modeling, but they're so old that they really need to be tossed because bacteria and dirt. Um, I have to pick up more from the doc eye doctors, but I have to have $25 to do that. I haven't yet, but I don't remember what kind these are, but I'll save the box when I do get them. I really only use them for shoots and occasionally for other times. I'm lazy. I like my glasses, and these are complicated. Um, but yeah, I, they're the squishy ones. I like them. Okay, shampoo, Pantene Color Revival Shampoo, had a coupon, liked it, 
um, not, I, I haven't met a shampoo that, uh, that is, oh my gosh, it's amazing, I have to go get it. It was nice. If I had a coupon again, I would get it again. What do you think? He's pretty much, if it's not Tresemme, eh, I'll use it. So. Oh, if it is Tresemme, I'm very happy. Um. Because then you're actually buying shampoo I like. This was Bath and Body Works Tropical Passion Fruit Bubble Bath. Found this at Goodwill. Um, do you have an opinion on this? It made nice bubbles and it smelled really nice. It burns the eyes when you, when you squeeze the fumes right into it. It, um... You're laughing at that. It made the water feel, like, soft. Um, do you have anything to say about this? That you're a sadist. Do you have anything real to say about this? No, not really. We're already at 30 minutes. Um, oh, go faster. I'm trying! I have a dog and a husband that are giving me problems. I don't usually buy the Bath & Body Works bubble baths. When I grabbed this at Goodwill, I thought it was a shower gel. Um, well, you can use the shower gels for bubble bath. The bubble bath does not really work as a shower gel. Um, I usually just get the cheap Ninja Turtles bubble bath because cheap and Ninja Turtles. Um, so yeah. This is nail polish remover. I always get the pink non-acetone protein enriched whatever. Uh, the pink one. This is from Walgreens Studio 35 Beauty. I will be getting more nail polish remover, but um, I just get it wherever. So I'm not like brand loyal. It's just like the I always get the pink one. Okay. Quality Q Shower Quality Face and Body Bar. This was a hotel soap. From Broken Arrow, I think. Alex used this. What did you think of this? He might be out of order. It was hotel soap. He has another I one. I don't like hotel soap. It it makes it makes me feel like I have a a skin of sticky gross everywhere. I really don't like hotel soap, but she always has to take the bar that's in the package from the hotel bathroom, bring it home, and make me use school. it. Cool. He's got another one of these, but I don't think it's something he would buy if we knew what no. brand it was. Okay, this is the Feria Conditioning Shampoo. This is the shampoo that was in my hair dye. I love this stuff. I wish they sold it in a bottle. Actually, I lied earlier. This is the only shampoo I've met that's like, oh my gosh, I need to buy this. Except I can't because it's in a hair dye box. So, L'Oreal needs to make this in a tube or a bottle, and I would buy it. It's amazing. Um, I've actually got two nail polishes. Let, let's save the makeup for the end. Why not? This is my mouthwash. This is the Act Kids Scooby-Doo Kiwi Watermelon Mouthwash. I know I'm a complete five-year-old, but A, is Scooby-Doo, and B, I don't like how any of the grown-up stuff tastes. It's all either mint or cinnamon, and I don't like either of those things. So I get the kids' stuff. There's nothing wrong with it, and it tastes good, and it's got Scooby-Doo on it. We've recently started sharing mouthwash, so Alex has been using this too. What do you think of this? Yeah. He likes yeah. the grown-up stuff better. That stuff makes me feel much cleaner, but that stuff does taste pretty good. Um, I will totally be repurchasing this. We might have to go back to two mouthwashes because he prefers the minty stuff because it makes his mouth too cleaner. But... The reason I wanted to go to one toothbrush, one toothpaste, not toothbrush, we have two toothbrushes, don't worry. The reason I wanted to go to one toothpaste, one mouthwash, and stuff like that is because we have all of our teeth brushing stuff in the shower because we both suck at remembering to brush our teeth, and that way we remember to brush our teeth, and mouthwash takes up a bit of room. So, we'll see. This is the Summer's Eve Simply Sensitive Cleansing Wash for Sensitive Skin. Um, for those of you that wonder, it is cruelty free. It says on the back, not tested on animals. So that's a cool thing that, um, I discovered. Um, this stuff's supposed to be for girl beds. I use it for that, but only like once or twice a month. What we really use this for is boy bits, and it's great for that too. 
we have got the Target brand right now, which comes in a bigger bottle and it's a little bit cheaper, so we're trying that out. But we always buy something like this. That's the first time I bought one that wasn't this brand. Do you have anything to say about this? That's good. Like uh, stuff. Not a uh, not small bad. Yeah. You know how boys can get stinky. Um. Sure, what else? No, I'm not. It's true. Boys have more testosterone, therefore they're more stinky. It's science. Okay, Alex has two deodorants. This first one is Tom's Natural 24-Hour Odor Protection Original Care Unscented. We got this because Alex had a deodorant emergency in Tulsa and we were at Trader Joe's. This was the only one they had, so this is what we got. They're still, this is still mostly full. Um, Tom's Natural Deodorant in general doesn't really work on Alex. Especially doesn't work in the summertime. He has to have clinical strength deodorant in the summertime. It's just how his body chemistry is. So, you just embarrass me on the whole wide internet. It's not that big a deal. It's just your body chemistry. I don't care. I married the hottest girl on the planet. So you just to make fun of me. I'm not gonna get anywhere. Do you want to talk about this? It doesn't work. Although I support the company, and I wish it did work. Yeah, they're cruelty. No animal testing or animal ingredients. They're, so they're cruelty free, vegan, no aluminum, no artificial colors, flavors, fragrance, or preservatives. They share every ingredient, they have sustainable practices, they strive to maximize recycled content and recyclability of their packaging, and 5% of employee time to volunteering, and 10% profits to human and environmental goodness. It's a great company. They just don't have deodorant scents that I like, and their deodorant doesn't work on Alex, otherwise we would buy it. And I hate wasting product, but it doesn't work, so there's no point in using it. This is the deodorant that Alex has been using all summer, though, and it works great, and it smells great, too. This is the Degree Men Clinical Protection Sport Strength Motion Sense Antiperspirant. Um, this stuff smells great. It works great. I totally repurchased. It's a little bit more expensive because it's clinical, but it works great. Do you want to say anything about this? It's about the only thing that seems to work, I mean, in the summer, basically. It gets really, yeah. really hot and humid in Arkansas. We'll totally be repurchasing. I've got a deodorant in here, too. This is the Secret Outlast Extend Technology Completely Clean Clear Gel Deodorant. I got this in a Buzz Agent box. Um, so at first, it was kind of weird because you, like, squish it up and it's this weird jelly stuff. Then I got used to it and I really liked it. It smelled really great. It worked great, although... I don't really get that stinky, so there's that. But um, Alex did use this. Uh, that's the cool thing about this too is it's got the plastic and it squishes through. So if he runs out, I can wipe it off with a baby wipe. He can use it, and I can wipe it off again. I can use it, and it's not like that weird. So Alex did use this a couple times. What did you think when you used this? I felt pretty. No, it was okay. It worked better than the Toms. So, this is something I would totally consider purchasing. For sharing deodorant is probably one of the least disgusting things. Um, I did like this. I was surprised. Um, right now I'm using the La Vanilla, though, and that's nice, too. I mean, we kiss. You've got cooties. I know, but you, sharing, like, things you like... You admit to having cooties. Wow. Just shut up. We're finishing our empties. Anyway, that was nice. I would consider actually purchasing it. And shout out to Buzz Agent for that being the first thing they sent me. Here we go. Okay, we're down to one thing in the makeup. This is In Spa Exactly Creamy Coconut Rich Body Butter. I love this stuff. I got one of these in a Walmart um, seasonal subscription box. I was going to purchase the full size, and then I got another small one in that giveaway from April Walker. I finished like three things from that this month. Love this. Totally going to purchase a full size when we do our shopping on Friday. It was alright. Um, made her skin feel nice, but then again, every lotion she's ever gotten has. Body shop stuff is still my favorite. Um, but yeah, I love this. Totally repurchasing. Okay, I have two spongies. My Beauty Blender and my Real Techniques died at the same time. Um, everybody knows Beauty Blender's 20 bucks, Real Techniques is like 5 or 6. My thing is, I can make this last a lot longer. This one doesn't last nearly as long. Um, I, you probably won't be able to see it, but it's got a couple chunks missing, and it just starts getting, like, weird. So, 
that's going. And then the beauty blender started doing the thing where there was like, it was getting chunks out of it, kind of, and... It was also getting big. Yeah, it was getting big even when it was dry and the pores were staying open. So, I mean, I'm probably not the best at taking care of these, but I'm not the worst either. I usually switch off and wash about once a week. But these are both dead. I've repurchased both of these except for this one. I repurchased in the black form. And this one I already had a backup. Um, I love the black one of these that I got. And that's that. This one I already had a backup. And they've changed the packaging. I am having better luck so far. It's only been a few weeks. So far, I'm having better luck with the Real Technique sponge in the new packaging than this one that came from the old packaging. So I got another backup in the new packaging. But I love both of these and obviously have repurchased both. Um, I'm not going to because our dogs drill for cat toys. But if you have just a cat and no annoying dog, then um, if as long as they're clean, you can use these as like cat toys. So that's a thing. Okay, now pretty much makeup is all that's left. I have this Corez Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. Nighttime Moisturizer came in a Sephora Play Box. Um, liked it. Used it a couple times at night, but would you sit back up? I used it mostly as a daytime moisturizer because I've run out of moisturizer. Sit up. It hurt. And um, even though it's meant for nighttime, it worked fine under makeup. That's nice, but not something so amazing I have to get. Um, wow, I finished two mascara samples. Okay, so I have the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And the wand looks like this. This was nice. I liked it. But it's not so amazing that I have to get it. Um, this was like a Birchbox or Ipsy thing. I liked it, but it's not so awesome that I have to get it. Did you use this? No. Okay. So that's that. This, though, is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Everybody talks about this. The wand looks like this. Um, Alex did use this. It looked good on him. I love this. This is amazing. This came from the Sephora Favorites mascara thing I got around Christmas time. I have another sample in the Sephora Favorites I got in Dallas. No, Houston. Um, but once I finish that one, Totally getting a full size. Love this stuff. What do you think about this? That's alright, but the Urban Decay stuff is a little better. It's like him and trust me. Urban Decay Perversion is the only mascara he likes. I like the one you got now. But totally will be repurchasing that. I like the one you've got now on the weird package. Oh, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes? Yeah. That one, I like Tarte. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer absolutely love this. This is like my favorite primer ever. It's the one I base everything on. I have a foil packet and I have um, one of the small like travel size ones that I got, Alex got me at Sephora. Um, don't buy the big full size. It's cheaper if you buy two of the small size. Same amount of ounces, less money. And plus I've got so many primers. All I really need at a time is the travel size. So I've got that and would totally have repurchased, would repurchase. Love this stuff. Um, I've got another Sephora Play, the Tarte, Tarte Guard SPF 30 sunscreen. This was fine. It worked fine underneath, um, makeup, but when it worked, it didn't, I didn't get a sunburn with it. It worked fine under makeup, but when I used it on its own, it was greasy. And I am oily, and that is not a good thing, so it's not something I would get. It was nice to try it because a lot of people talk about it. It was nice, it's just not something I'd get because I like my, I think it's called Bare Naturals, something like that that I get at Target, way better. Um, use this a few times too, what do you think of this? Face sunscreen. I'm not really a big fan of sunscreen, but it was alright for a while. Okay, I have a Geek Chic Cosmetics Butter Lush Balm in Waka Waka Waka, which is a Pac-Man reference and it's cherry flavored. This came from a giveaway I won from Biohazardous Beauty. This is a really nice lip balm. I would consider getting their lip balms again. I wouldn't get this flavor. I would consider buying their lip balms. 
I would not get this flavor because I don't like cherry. Although it was a tolerable cherry for somebody that doesn't like cherry. Um, and I liked it, but I still like my soft lips a little bit better. So this is something I would get if they had it relating to a fandom I liked. I would get it and know that I would enjoy it. But it's not something I have to run out and get, you know? Okay. Three more things. And apparently a screw for no reason that can go in the trash too. This is the Beauty Blender Liquid Blender Cleanser. I had a sample of this from Sephora Play. Love this. Want to buy it. Um, kind of hesitant, partly because of the price, but it's mostly because of the dispenser. I want what? <coughs> excuse me. I would want to use this for my brushes, not my sponges. Although it worked great on my sponges. Um, but I would mostly want to use this on my brushes and the, the like the pumpy thing. I'm not sure how that would work. But I still really want to get this. It's on my list at Sephora. I totally plan on getting them. And then I finished two nail polishes. The first one was Essence, the gel nail polish in the color Black is Back. It's just their black nail polish. This is a really good nail polish. Um, the brush looks like this. This was originally Alex's, and then we started kind of sharing it. Um, I like this. I would repurchase. I don't need a black nail polish right now. Um, and I'm kind of indifferent about my black nail polish as long as it's opaque. Um, but yeah, this was a really nice one. What did you think of this? Is that the black one? Mm-hmm. It's alright. That was good. Although, she kept making me use that instead of the OPI. Because you bought this first, so we need to use it uh, up. I did? Yes. Oh. This is from, actually from my very first Ipsy bag. This is Cirque Colors Glitter Nail Polish in XX. Um, it looks full. It's very pretty glitter. But I can't get anything else out. I'm having to like dip my brush multiple times to get anything. This is what the brush looks like. Um, that kind of thing. It was a nice glitter. It doesn't like to come off with regular nail polish remover. Although, I started using the Sally Hansen Big Peel Off Base Coat instead of a regular base coat with my glitter polishes. Gets this stuff off and any other glitter polish off amazingly so far. So, once I had got over the um, it doesn't come off problem, I like this. That's something I have to go out and repurchase. I'm not a huge glitter nail polish person. I don't buy them often, but I do like them once in a while. What I tend to do is put black down and then put this over it. This is actually what I've got on my toes right now. And that's coming off on Saturday. But, uh, yeah, I liked it. Um, not something I have to repurchase, but I did enjoy it. And that is my empties. I will see you guys next month.